in spite of our trouble fishing, our passage from Tonga to Fiji actually went really well. We covered the 453 miles in just over three days and managed a daylight arrival into Sabu Sabu on the island of Vanua Levu. We've been told Fiji has done quite a bit of work trying to streamline their arrivals process, but we still found it rather complicated. While at a mooring under quarantine, we were visited by the health department, customs, immigration, and biosecurity. You have to pay cash for customs clearance and the health inspection, which necessitated a trip to the ATM and then wandering around town finding the offices. Then, once all that was completed, we were finally able to apply for the official cruising permit at customs. As I said, it was a fairly complicated process, but fortunately, Fiji would be well worth it. What are you getting all ready for? We are going diving. For birthday present, yeah, right? Yeah, my birthday is the uh, day after tomorrow, I think. Or Technically, it tomorrow? it's tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I decided I wanted to go diving here in Fiji. And yeah, we made it happen, didn't we? Yeah. With our friends Mark and Anne from the boat 360 Blue, we went out for a two-dive day at sites known as the Grand Canyon and the Chimneys. It turned out to be some of the best diving we've ever done. How was the dive? Ah, uh, dive was great. The dives Pearl. were great. Namina, mm -hmm. Namina uh, Park, Nash, Namina Marine Park was fantastic. Excellent soft corals, lots of fish, sharks, barracudas, lobster, lobster, a tuna. shrimp, tuna, mackerel, rumors big of an octopus. Of um, yeah, nudibranchs. It was good. Where does this rank on birthday celebrations? This is a pretty good birthday celebration. Yeah. I liked it. Uh, maybe behind Vegas, but above flying to Maine? Uh, I would say this was better than Vegas. Whoa! I mean, Vegas was a lot of fun, but... Um, yeah, I had a good day today. And well, it's then... not over yet. So we're having Mark and Ann over for drinks tonight. Yeah, well, at least we're doing something right, huh? We're doing lots of things right. <laughs> <laughs> the sails are up and we're moving again. Where are we, are. we going? We are headed to Suba. And uh, how long have we were in Sabu Sabu? Four nights. Four nights, including your birthday. Including what? Your birthday. Oh yeah, my birthday. If I can pronounce proper English. Your birthday. Your birthday, baby. <laughs> and why are we headed to Suba so quickly? So we need to be in Suva like by Tuesday because our friend Kyle flies in on Wednesday. But there's this nasty, funky storm system that's going to come through Fiji on uh, Sunday night, Monday. So we're going to get to Suva early, hunker down in a hurricane hole, and just ride out the shit ton of rain and wind. Yeah, 
say hurricane hole, it shouldn't be that bad. Winds maybe 30 to 40 or something, but... No, but you could call it a hurricane hole. There you go. For all of you listening... It's not a hurricane. Shit's about to get crazy. Yeah, we'll see. The distance was just a bit too long to do in one stretch of daylight, so we opted to do a quick overnight sail. It was another great one, and we arrived at our protected anchorage well in advance of the approaching storm. There was a bit of concern over the last few days about a weather system that's rolling through here in Fiji. We have a friend coming to visit us in a couple days, and we decided to move down towards Suva a little early in order to be able to beat the system rolling through and get in a little more protected anchorage. Uh, I think a little bit further north they're supposed to be getting winds 30 to 40 knots, but fortunately down here it's been pretty calm and just a lot of rain. We took advantage of the rain to clean the boat and then relax a little bit and celebrate the milestone we had just crossed on our way down to Suva. Good morning! We are here aboard the good ship Starry Horizons with Admiral Amy. Tell us what momentous milestone just occurred. We just passed 178 degrees 50 minutes in 0.275 east which means we are halfway around the world from La Rochelle. Holy freaking cow. Yeah, it's been a little less than 23 months since we left and we've covered a lot of ground. Yeah. yeah. Half the world qualifies a lot of ground. That's crazy. So, what is uh, the good ship Starry Horizons going to do to celebrate? Uh, I'm guessing you're going to take a nap. Uh, I'm going to get on watch. And... Uh... Life rolls on, <laughs> Oh, huh? we have brownies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good celebration in my book. Brownies are always exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Since Starry Horizons was launched on October 29th, 2014, we have visited 19 countries, sailed over 18,000 nautical miles, crossed two oceans, and met more good people and created more good memories than we can possibly count. It's been an amazing adventure, far beyond anything we could have dreamed of, and hopefully you'll indulge us as we take a look back at some of our favorite moments along the way.
Hey everyone, as you can tell we are hard at work here in New Zealand trying to get Starry Horizons ready for our next season of Sailing on the Water. Hope you enjoyed that video and hope you don't mind that we got a little nostalgic as we uh, looked back on our halfway around the world adventure. Still have the other half of the world to come, which we're pretty excited about, but stay tuned for right now as we've got uh, the next couple of videos are going to be from Fiji and then heading down to New Zealand. We've got lots more to come and for anyone who's wondering, the brownies were indeed an awesome way to celebrate halfway around the world. Thanks for watching guys.